In this video, we are going to show you how to access the post processor in STAD Pro Connect Edition and how to achieve all of the results that you're looking for. To access the post processor after an analysis has been performed, you can go to your workflow panel and select the post processing option. This is going to immediately place you within the post processor. Now the post processor graphical user interface is organized very similarly to the analytical modeling interface. We have our ribbon toolbar at the top of the screen. We have our workflow page control area. We have our view window in the center of the screen. And then we also have the data area, which is going to contain relevant different pieces of data in tabular format. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few key features of our model. First, we're gonna start on the displacements tab. And here we can see the displaced shape of our structure. When the displacements page is available in the workflow page control area, you're gonna see your nodal displacements and your beam relative displacement detail tables. Now the displacement that we're seeing on our screen is according to the currently selected load case. I can be reminded of that by taking a look at the load case in the bottom right hand corner of the view window. If I wanna take a look at a different load case, I'm gonna go up to my results tab in my ribbon toolbar and I can select any load case that was included in the analysis. Let's go ahead and proceed on. We're gonna proceed on to the next area, which is our reactions area. And here we can see the reactions at each foundation. Again, this is according to the currently selected load case, which is load case number six. Let's proceed on to our beam results. Now, when we select our beam results, by default, our beam and forces table are going to be appearing in the data area. But what if you want to go to some additional results that are relevant to your beam design? What we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to this layouts icon in this first set of results. And you can see here for our beam results, all the different areas. So right now we're seeing our beam forces. I can go ahead and select our beam stresses. Here I'm gonna select one particular member. Let's proceed on and we can select our utilization. This is basically the results of our code checking that we performed on our model. I can see here all of the interaction ratios. We did a standard code check for this model. I can see if I have any failed members as well. I'm gonna come right back up here and I can also achieve some graphs of any currently selected member. Now, as I'm taking a look at my beam results, I may want to see different diagrams. Right now I'm seeing the bending Z diagram for load case number three. Maybe I want to see some shear diagrams or some axial diagrams. I can select the other options available here. Um, say for example, I want to see uh, MX, I can see MY, I can see any of those pieces of information. If I wanted to control the view or the color coding of any of those pieces of information, I can also go to the view tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on my label settings icon. Once we're in a diagrams area, we're gonna select our loads and results and we can see the color coding that's kind of the default of the program. Now, if you're used to using STAD Pro V8i, you can still get to that same area just by right clicking and saying structure diagram and then selecting loads and results. Okay, let's go back to the results tab in the ribbon toolbar and let's take a look at a few last things. Well, first let's go ahead and select the plate results page. And here we can select plate stresses. And we're gonna select a stress type. We'll select the maximum absolute stress and we can see our plate stresses. Now, if we had performed a dynamic analysis, we would also be able to review our dynamic analysis results. And here is where you could select your information for your time history analysis and also your individual mode cases. If you wanna go back and select which load cases you wanna see in the post processor, you can click on the select load cases icon. 
So most of the items that you're going to be needing within the post processor are going to be available through the page control area and the results tab in the ribbon toolbar. And remember to use this layouts icon to access the different tables in the data area. If you plan on also creating some reports, we can move on to the reports area where here you can set up a custom report for your model.